Okay, guys, so who rules when it comes to tools? That's my question for today. Join me after this and we'll dive into it. Yeah. Ah, uh, here we go. <laughs> So, who do you think rules when it comes to tools? So, quick question. Um, going to go over it. We have such a choice in Racine. We've got loads of hardware stores, our very own disposal, not to mention that some, some companies that make the tools are here in Racine as well, like Dremel, um, people like that. So, that's great when I moved here. That was, I, I wasn't aware that they was here, but I'd heard all about Dremel. So let's go into it. So let's start on the north side, shall we? Um, great stuff on the north side on Douglas. We have Court and Dick's Ace Hardware, and that's a great store. I've been in there many times. They do lots of different stuff, um, very reasonably priced. They've got the garden center there as well. And they also do a, a bit of fishing gear. So that's also a good one for you. So if you go in there, um, staff are very friendly and nice. And always reasonably priced as well. So that's great. You can even fill up your propane there. They have a tank at the front. So uh, try those out. That's Corton Dix on Douglas. Just down the road from them, we've got Douglas Hardware. So, obviously, they're on Douglas. Um, Douglas Hardware, old family uh, hardware store, and they're also great. I've been in there a few times as well. And pretty much, um, they'll get it for you. They've got it. Um, good range of tools and... Um, stuff like that so hardware for you know um doorknobs and cabinets kitchen um handles stuff like that they've they've got it all there um so yeah or if you're looking for totes and stuff they will do it um so staying in theme with ace hardware i know douglas isn't an ace but we've had court and dicks we have one on the south side now as well. So we have a JC Licht, which is an Ace, an Ace um, hardware store. And they're on the south side on Taylor Avenue. So Taylor Avenue, it used to be Lee's, which was a true value store. It's now Ace Hardware with JC Licht. And uh, they've been there a while now. So very good. Um, I've been in there numerous occasions because that's near where I live. So I've been into that one. Um, great all-round store. Very friendly staff again. And uh, very knowledgeable staff there. So it's really good. We've got one just around the corner from that, which is a true value, which is... Avia's a true value over near Dollar Tree. That one I haven't been in. So if anyone's been in there and they like what they saw, let me know. Um, would love to find out what they're like. But that's on Durand. And uh, so very close to the other one. Next one, we've got one of the biggies. So one of the biggies coming up, which is Home Depot. So we've got our own, very own Home Depot here on 21st and Green Bay. Great store. They carry a whole load of stuff. They've got a garden center, lumber, um, pick up anything there. They have a great range of tools and everything else that goes with them, even appliances um, and everything like that. So very reasonably priced as well. You can also, they have a hire department, so you can hire out the bigger tools, um, 
you know, for clearing out your drains or anything like that, they've got it there. So you can hire stuff out, carpet cleaners, all that stuff. Um, that's really good and reasonably uh, priced as well. Uh, just almost opposite those, you have another great store for tools um, on Green Bay Road, which is Harbour Freight. So we've got Harbour Freight tools there in Racine. Great store for uh, lots of tools. They do the unusual tools as well. And uh, you can get them all there at a really good price. Sometimes they're having sales on. You'll pick them up even cheaper. So keep your eye out on Harbour Freight Tools. Sign up for their website. And they'll keep you uh, updated with whatever sales they've got going on at the time. If there's any discounts going. So you've got that one. Also, not far away, going back to Durand. There's a lot on Durand. Um, we have, who's the other big one? Menards. So we've got Menards on Durand, a great store. They have a very big choice of tools um, and everything. They have so much of a choice on stuff. And they've got the garden center there as well. You can go around the back to the lumber yard and pick out lumber as well. They have the bigger stuff out the back. You can drive around there and pick it up. Um, so that's great. And uh, they do everything that you could think of in Menards. Uh, very similar to Home Depot. Staying on Durand. Going out of town towards Sturdivant, we have Blaine's Farm and Fleet. So we got Blaine's Farm and Fleet, great one for tools, bigger stuff for the trucks and stuff like that. They do lots of stuff for truck beds, but they also carry clothes and food and stuff like that as well, tires, and they have the whole um, garage there so that if you want your vehicle serviced, they can do it over there as well. So a great all-round um, store there. Lots of tools. They do some fishing gear as well. They do some stuff for the barbecues. So they're a great source for anything like that. Is Blaine's Farm and Fleet. And last but not least, we have another one. Can you think of what it is? This one isn't so much for tools, and it's Blifford's Lumber and Hardware. So they do have some hardware, um, but they carry a load of lumber. Um, I mean, where this building is, either side of that, they've got racks and racks of it on the outsides um, as well. They also have sales over there now and again. Occasionally, they will have an auction for... Uh, leftover stuff from projects. I've picked up um, patio doors. We've picked up a marble sink from there before, a cabinet from there before. Um, and so, yeah, they'll have leftovers from a project. There might be one-offs and things like that, windows, doors, stuff like that, that they will auction off normally once or twice a year. They have a big auction. Some of their vendors bring stuff there as well. So it's not just from them. It's from other vendors as well. Some of their contractors might have stuff left over. And they'll bring it in and they'll sell it off cheap. Very cheap. So um, you can get those there. Great source for lumber as well. Um, that's their main thing. So if you can think of any more that I haven't uh, come up with, then you can let me know. And because I love going around hardware stores. Yeah, my wife isn't so happy when I'm doing that because I can get lost for hours. Um, just dreaming up projects that I could never get to. <laughs> so what are you like? Do you store a load of tools I've got so many tools um, 
I don't know what to do with at the moment. So I do have some projects I've got to get round to, and I'll be putting them to use sometime this year. So get back to me with what you have to do. Let me know what type of projects you're doing at the moment, and what tools, if any, and what stores you go to. Is there a special one that you know that I don't know, but you get it a bit cheaper? Why not let us all know? Because if you let me know, I'll let you know. Okay, bye for now. If you got value from this content, don't forget to like the video. If you'd like to see more of the same, then subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future content. We'd love to hear from you, so leave a comment below with your thoughts or suggestions for any future videos. See you next time. Bye for now.